All right, we've got a bit of a different video today, ladies and gentlemen. We're literally just gonna find somewhere to sit down and we're gonna fucking get, get straight into it. I'm just about to go into these woods and I'm gonna have a little chill. Let me see, you got the, the corner here. Oh, it's quite big to be honest, it's bigger than what I thought it was. All right, we're gonna move our spot because we were actually like right next to the main road and I don't want a copper to drive past, see me smoking and fucking, not pull me over, but you get what I'm saying, come and stop me. Um, I just found this quite nifty little thing. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. Let me flip the camera. You can see like the kind of the shape of it. The camera don't pick it up well, but you can see it kind of bends around. I guess this is the entrance sort of thing. See, it's like a, a circle, but yeah, no, no seats. So many fucking squirrels. They're literally like circling me. I didn't know they made sounds. Yeah, I did not know squirrels make sounds. One of them was just like skipping along the floor going like, I don't know how to describe it. You know a guinea pig? You know when you just like leave guinea pigs in your room and they start doing that fucking like, I'm pretty sure it's called like popcorning. Maybe something along them lines, something like that. But anyway, the video we're gonna be doing today is extremely fucking different to what we normally do. So, I'm gonna try to give you all the details that I can. I don't wanna come across disrespectful, um, but we're gonna get into the video anyway. So on Tuesday, the day after bank holiday, I went into work, as you do, as I normally do. I'm normally quite good with work. I very rarely have a sick day and stuff like that. And on this day, um, so basically my yard, I'm a gardener, but our contract for the company, they do burials as well. And they do what I do, grass cutting. Um, and obviously I finished work today, but, and the thing is, so two of us, well, one other person works for me, two people work at the cemetery. Hence why we are depots at the cemetery. So when we go and get our shit in the morning, we have to go and get it from the cemetery. And I pulled in 7.30 in the morning and uh, the gates were closed. I started undoing the gates as I normally do. And um, as I was undoing the gates, my uh, co-worker pulled in. We're just having a chat uh, as you do. And um, we uh, went to the car park where the vans are kept. And in the corner of the car park, I guess you could say, up against a hedge, um, kind of was a dead body. But I did not notice it yet. I don't know why I'm smiling. I don't know why I said kind of. Um, so we went into, because obviously I wasn't looking out for something like that. And I just got out of my car, got my tools, and uh, about to hop in the van. And there's this woman that comes to the cemetery, bless her heart. She's there half seven every day when we're opening the gates. And I was literally about to leave because we just finished putting all this stuff on. And this woman come up to me and she was like, um, oh my God, can you call the police please? And I was thinking, oh shit, she smelt fucking like weed or something. And I was like, oh, what's wrong? And then she was like, I found the body. And I was like, what? I was like, we are at a cemetery. Like, there, there's bodies in the ground. And then she was like, no, an actual body. And uh, she took me and my co-worker to the car park, showed us in the car park. She must have noticed it as she was walking out. Um, bless her, it's probably something she did not want to see. She was quite an old girl. I mean, I didn't really want to see it, but um, I kind of, I didn't have to go and have a look, but I wanted to see if she was telling the truth sort of thing. And yeah, she showed us where it was, this guy with his legs crossed, like what I am now, and he's kind of just like slunched over. And um, yeah, um, we had to call the police. The police come in literally like two minutes. There was probably like four or five police cars be like three ambulances and like a fire engine maybe 
I can understand the police car and the ambulance. I'm not too sure why a fire engine would be there, but hey ho, I imagine they might have to cut down trees or something. I don't know. Like, and they just need easy access to the body, I guess. But yeah, it was a bit of a madness. I, I had to answer some questions from the police. Uh, basically like when did I find it who did I find it with what like, kind of condition was it in when I found it have I touched it um, all that jazz I had to speak to the police for like 30 minutes so I was getting paid for that so I'm not going to complain uh, then I had to speak to my boss uh, my boss basically asked me if I was traumatised I said no uh, the guy I worked with after said that we should have just went in there shaking and tried to milk it and we could have got some time off work but it's not something you want time off work for. Obviously, it's not a nice thing that has happened. And I did put it up on Instagram yesterday saying what had happened because I was going to do a video yesterday, but uh, my head wasn't really in the right place. But a lot of you messaged me on Instagram. There's some weird fucking sounds. A lot of you messaged me on Instagram asking if I was okay, asking if I was okay after seeing it. So thank you if you did message me on Instagram checking me, checking if I was alright. Thank you for doing so. None of my fucking mates done it. I do tell you I haven't got any mates. You lot are my mates. So thank you for checking up on me. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a madness. Like I said, I don't want to give out loads of details because this person has family. And yeah, it wasn't very nice. Uh, what I will say is he killed himself by slitting his wrists. Um... I don't get why you would do it in a cemetery. I guess he wanted to be close to where he wanted to be buried, but it doesn't work like that. You need to go and have a fucking... Um... Fuck. What do they call it when you die and then they have a look at the dead body to find out the cause of death? Not an anatomy. Fuck. Oh, you know what I'm on about anyway. They had to like... Well, they don't have to, but I'm pretty sure they do collect the body and then they take it somewhere and then they have a look at it, check how it died, check if there was any damages on it because he might have, like, strangle marks or, like, you see where he's been, like, fighting with someone and you could put it down as a murder. At the moment, I believe it's a suicide, hence the slit wrist, but someone could have slit his wrists for him. Um, I hope it was a suicide. I'd rather seen a suicide than the murder because the murder's a bit mad. Sorry, I had to stop filming. Some woman and a child were, like, walking their fucking dog behind me. And I don't really want the child or the woman hearing me talking about dead bodies. Because it's not the nicest thing to talk about. <sighs> but like I said, this video has been a bit different. Um, I didn't really want to do this video because I don't want you thinking I'm just putting it up for the sake of it. Uh, I, the only reason I'm doing the video is because I promised a video yesterday and I didn't do one. And... It's kind of a topic to talk about because like I said, I haven't really got any mates. So it's nice to talk to people. Obviously, I'm not talking to you lot face to face, but it's nice to say something and then you lot give me your opinions back. Because I appreciate that. It's nice to have people to talk to. Like I said, you lot messaged me on Instagram. Thank you for that. I don't know why this bit of my beard's going like purple kind of. It's a bit weird. But like I said, thank you very, very, very much for messaging me. And um, I'm going to see you lot in the next video, which hopefully won't inv include any dead bodies. But if you are new here, uh, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 4K, which is fucking madness. If you sat me in front of 4,000 people and said speak, I would like break down in tears. But thank you for watching. These skirrels, I don't know why I said that weird, are scaring the shit out of me. I'm sure I'm dyslexic or something. I can't speak half the time. Um, but yeah. On that jolly note, I will see you in the next one.